Mm-hmm. Hi, so what I'll be showing you now is how to add data based on your requirement that you've shown in your submitted uh, issue. So uh, what we have here is the same kind of layout of how you had it in your question. So let's start with the SharePoint. SharePoint list is like this. So we will leave the title just like that, a lot number and our box actual weight and sealed. So we have for sealed, what we have here is we have a B C uh section here. So we'll try to um capture the information from the power apps. So my power apps is quite different because what I did is this one here, this gallery, it's actually from a collection. So that collection here is initiated. So initiated means we are trying to like uh, initialize it or telling the the app that we have this container of data. So the best place to initialize it is at the on start code here. So when you go to app click this one your you will be usually uh shown this one so go to on start and then add this code clear collect so this is just declaring an empty uh row of clear call uh, of call abc and then we have this one like just the similar format as this in here and then what we have is the value so for the value, let's keep it just like that. And then, and then after that, I've also added this plus here. So for the plus, I just put collect. So it means it's gonna create another em empty row for call ABC. So let's just test that out. So if I, Remove this one so it's empty now. I can just click this one then and it will add more rows. So that's for this icon. So this one is just an icon. Then I have a gallery called Add Logistics. I've added a couple of uh, text boxes and then sealed uh, drop down. So this one, its data is based on the SharePoint data so if we go to its items it has the logistics sealed so uh just want to show you my sharepoint list name is logistics so that's why it's like that there and i did import logistics in here so next that i did is after adding this for here i also added this one this one is just a trash icon because I want to clean my screen. So when this one is clicked, it's just going to remove this row of data in the call ABC. So just this two. Okay, back to the input. So for the input, we have uh, two properties that we need to modify. First is the on change. On change property. So the on change property is that it's gonna update its item. So if ever I change the the information here, it will save, it will patch the data source. So let's try. So for example, uh, before I put any data there, let's just go to check the data source. So you can actually see here. So I have call ABC collection and it's showing that I have empty data in here. So let's go back and then what we will do is that let's try to put some data. So let's say A, B, C, D, e, F. So I did two changes for this first row. If we go to the collection, you see A, B, C, D, E, F. So it's arranged um, alphabetically, but it's still on the right uh, column. So next, uh, Next is this one. So what's the unchanged code? So this is the unchanged code. I'm patching the collection with whatever value I do whenever I change the value for this property. 
it's the same thing here so on change that's it and then another one here change that's it too and this one on change so this self that selected value so that's what i've done and i will change this one let's move this one for the drop down don't do don't use on change let's put it on select so just that okay so we've done those changes apart from the on change and on select for seal i've also done the default here Default is that this item, that lot number. Because if you leave it as empty, so let's try leaving it as empty. So, see, um, so I put change one to one to one like that. So it turns black, and if we check the collection, it's actually saved. But why it's not reflecting? Because we do we did not set the default value of this item, so we should set it to this this way like the property of that specific collection row so just follow this so for this this that number this one its default item is inner box this one actual weight and this one the default value default sealed value so let's try changing it to b so it should be like that they should retain the value when we make changes okay let's try that and then let's check the collections okay it's still a let's try it again change try changing it to see okay so i was wrong earlier just keep it to the property on chain so we have, we have that one and then the button here is just a simple button with the same formula as yours but the only thing i did is i changed the source so instead of going back because what you did is you're referring to the input like let's say text input something like that you should not refer directly to the um to the text input to the controls within a gallery because the button the i mean the for all code will not be able to read those data because those data is only exclusive within the gallery context i hope i make sense and please follow this way to make your app work so this is it and let's try it. so i'll remove this one because i'll be adding empty rows you can have one empty row if you just want to test it so we have this data i press the button and then after pressing the button if i go here i'll have my data in here with the, the simple like uh, with the row with empty record one way you can do is just like if you want to clear it after using you just add the clear call abc and that will clear the data in that gallery so let's say we're we're gonna add another one
and then add so it clears the data and at the same time it's going to add the data on the sharepoint so that's the end of this video i hope you're able to understand the logic and the standard way of updating the data